हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एग्जाम दोस्त बच्चों आई एम लाइव आई एम बैक इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू विद अनदर पोस्ट गेट गाइडेंस सेशन एपिसोड नंबर नाइन इन विच आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ फ्यू आई दैट आर अवे फ्रॉम द सेवन मेन आई तो आज मैं तीन आई के बारे में बात करूंगा जो सेवन आई से अलग है आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू ऑल द डिटेल्स अबाउट देयर एम टेक एडमिशन थ्रू इलेक्ट्रिकल इसी आई एन so i'll be starting with iit dhanbad okay so iit dhanbad was established in 1926 and it offers btech program dual degree with integrated mtech dual degree means btech plus mtech msc mtech mtech uh, mba phd in various area of science geology geophysics chemistry mathematics computing physics engineering chemical civil computer science electrical electronics enviro fuel mineral metallurgical mechanical mining mining machinery petroleum humanities management and it has long credentials of outperforming in certain academy and industry okay so now if i come to iit iit dhanbad means ism which is indian school of mines so it offers the mtech admission in three different mode one the candidate will be with the gate score second iit graduates with btech degree third is candidate sponsored by the government organization or reputed industrial organization or academic institution now mtech program fees for the first semester is 68000 second semester 23 third semester 33 and fourth semester 23000 so this fees also includes 21000 as mess charges for first semester and 5000 caution money so this is the total fees iske upar aapko koi paisa dene ki zarurat nahi hai you don't have to pay even a single rupee above this fees it includes the mess fees also now mtech program and the branches so if i focus if i focus on the branches where electrical ecin is allowed <clears throat> so computer science ec and electrical are eligible but i hardly think people will be interested unless they have appeared for cs examination for artificial intelligence also es ec and electrical are eligible for power system electrical ec in is eligible okay for power system electrical ec in power electronics electrical ec in communication and signal processing electrical is not eligible ec and in is eligible electronics engineering ec and in is eligible not electrical okay rf and microwave ec and in is eligible for vlsi ec and in and electrical or are eligible so if you are looking to get into vlsi and you are finding that many iits are not allowing electrical for vlsi you can go for iit dhanbad there they are allowing electrical engineers also to the vlsi program okay other than this beta so these are the department data analytics is for maths and statistics or cs and da okay now If we see the number of seats, in the number of seats, if we come to power system, twenty seats are there. Power electronics, twenty seats are there. Signal processing, twenty-five seats. Optical communication, twenty seats. RF and microwave, twenty seats. Okay, RF and microwave, twenty seats are there. Okay, these are the departments. Okay. so these are the departments for electrical ecin the last date for application is 19th of april okay it started from 20th of march counseling schedule is available on the coap website and you have to report if you get selected you have to report at their campus on 21st of july and their courses will start from 24th of july okay so now if we see the gate cut off score gate cut off score beta in communication it is 512 so low gate score in optical communication only 420 rf and microwave 405 vlsi 523 okay 
and power engineering where is the power engineering power electronics and electric drives 490 and power system 457 so the students that have gate score near 500 or below 500 they should definitely apply for iit dhanbad there is a high chance of getting selected coming on to the next iit that is iit jodhpur okay IIT Jodhpur was established in 2008, okay. It was established in 2008, so almost we can say 17 years, 17 years it has been there. Institute is committed to technological thought and action to benefit the economic development. Scholarship in teaching and learning, scholarship in research and creative accomplishment, okay. Now, if I talk about the branches for electrical ECIN, one is sensor and IoT. IoT is the upcoming field. If you want to get into IIT, there is a uh, there is a dedicated course. Okay, cyber physical system electrical EC IN is uh, eligible. Intelligent communication only EC for intelligent VLSI. This is good. All the three branches electrical EC IN is eligible. Data science, data science electrical EC IN is eligible. Advanced manufacturing, then thermofluid, drone and entry drone. So, drone engineering is also there for electrical ECIN. Infrastructure bridge augmented virtual reality, AR and VR. This is also a field that will boom in the near future. Augmented reality is an upcoming field. Mobility system is electric vehicle. There you can see electrical ECIN is eligible. Okay. Now, what can be the priority order for electrical engineers? For prior electrical engineer, the first priority should be VLSI system. Okay. You should go for VLSI. The second should be mobility system. And the third should be your internet of things. These three things. For EC, VLSI system. Then you can go for sensor and IoT. And the third could be, the third could be robotics. Okay, the third priority robotics. Tuition fees for hosteler is 13,000. Admission fees 3,800. Convocation fees 3,000. Semester fees 27,000. Refundable deposit 8,000. Professional development 2,000. So total fees is 57,000 for hosteler and daily scholar 49,000. If you see, they have not included, they have not included the, what? Mess charges. Okay, mess charges are not included. The last date of filling the application form is 20th of April. Okay, so you must rush in case you wish to apply for IIT Jodhpur. And if you see the cutoff, cutoff, in case of uh, COAP gate cutoff, if you see the score is somewhere around, somewhere around 300, okay, somewhere around 300. So, even at low gate score, you can get IIT Jodhpur. Then IIT Bhilai, okay, IIT Bhilai, if I talk about, it was started in 2016 to provide education and research in various branch of engineering, okay. So, now if we see what all departments are available. In electrical engineering, you have power system and power electronics, control and instrumentation, electric vehicle. In EC, you have EC and microelectronics and VLSI. And even in microelectronics and VLSI, all the three branches are eligible. Even for uh, electrical engineering, all the three branches are eligible. Okay. All the three branches are eligible. Now, application starting date is 20th of March, closing date is 20th of April. Now, what is the fees? The fees, one-time fees is 7,000 rupees. One-time refundable deposit is also 7,000. For the two semesters, the fees is 18,500. 18,500. Hostel fees, hostel fees is 38,000 for a semester including the mess fees, including the mess fees, okay. Now, what about the gate cutoff score for IIT Bhilai? In electric vehicle, it is just 383. 
इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स कॉम्युनिकेशन स्टिल अ लिटिल हायर बट आई विल से अ लो गेट स्कोर फोर फिफ्टी इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके तो इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल यू कैन गेट जस्ट फॉर अ थ्री एट्टी गेट स्कोर सो एट लो गेट स्कोर यू कैन गो फॉर दिस इवन पावर सिस्टम एंड पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स हैज अ वेरी लो गेट स्कोर रिक्वायरमेंट जस्ट थ्री फिफ्टी एट ओके फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कॉम्युनिकेशन फोर फिफ्टी नाइन इन विच यू कैन प्रेफर टू गो फॉर पी एल एस आई सो दैट इट बच्चो द क्लोजिंग डेट इज वेरी वेरी नियर फॉर ऑल द थ्री आई आई टीज दैट एक्सप्लेन इन दिस वीडियो सो इन केस योर गेट स्कोर इज इन दिस रेंज डेफिनेटली यू शुड अप्लाई फॉर दीज आई आई टीज so that is the end of our episode number 9 in episode number 10 i'll bring some more new iits for you thank you